How can there be two skeletons inside of that body? Ooh, I have very low sanity. I guess I should use my meditation rod. Oh, it maxes your san sanity out. Nice. So there's stairs up there. Oh. Oh! I didn't realize this was the same place. It looked sort of similar back there, but this is literally the exact same place as when we played as that person trying to prevent uh, someone from doing the thing? You remember the place? I don't remember their name. That person? That person! Oh no, I have to kill them. So, red eye, they're probably red, right? If they have any color at all. Come on, try to attack me. Haha! If I remember right, the two-edged sword was really good against groups of enemies, right? Okay, let's see if there's anything more in the rest of the old tower, but we should have everything we need to go back there and activate that thing. Unless, it's possible the thing with a ruby is, just like in the last mission, it might be an optional thing. Maybe I just have to go back there right now if I want to see what it does. Shield spell scroll. Oh, nice. I never tried protect self. Let's see. I should maybe assign that to something. Depends how it works. So I'm fighting against red, so I should use blue. Uh, what do I not need assigned? Reveal invisible is something I just use very rarely. Only in specific circumstances, so that doesn't need to be here. Recover an enchant and damage field, definitely. Dispel magic as well, I could get rid of. So I'll put it on left. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I wonder how it works. Like, I wonder if it disappears when you take one hit of damage, or maybe it just lasts for a certain amount of time. Is 
Is this casket in readiness for Brother Andrew's body? Perhaps Augustine is blessing it, or perhaps it has a more sinister purpose. It's almost as if the death was expected or arranged. Oh, that's where I came from, so yeah, what's up here? Whoa! Oh, I think the shield protected me. Oh yeah, the number of little things swinging around me is like how many hits I can take before it disappears. The shield. Okay, that's cool. Ah, music. She the music lies up on the bookshelf. One wonders what it sounds like. Oh. I saw X's and Y's on that thing of music. I think I have to actually play it myself. It's not just like watching a cutscene. Uh, so there's a secret door behind here before, right? Mostly books of religious nature. Yeah, this is the same description as when we were here before. Lying on an abandoned easel is a sheet of tattered paper covered with scrolls of ink. I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice, but I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayers or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is my naivety of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than others. So far, these journal entries don't reveal anything at all. Just stuff we knew. They are doing creepy stuff. They're a bunch of weird people. The end. Same description as all the books, I think. Bewildering array of books, etc., etc. Yeah, how did I open this before? I thought there was, like, a book that stood out. But... Doesn't seem to be the case. None of these books stand out, apparently. Okay. Right, so we have the music to do. We have... The gems. Let's go back and use them. What should I do first? Music? Yeah, we're here. Might as well do it. Although it might not work, since doesn't somebody need to pump air into it from down below or something? Written on it. Someone had it probably three years of use. Oh, I don't use it. I guess I just need to actually memorize it? Hold on. By means of bellows and pump, the pipe organ is able to play deeply moving music. It has the power to inspire faith and to influence hearts beyond the control of the mind. Should you play the organ? Will it actually make noise? I thought somebody has to be down below to pump air into it or something. Hmm. Okay. I wasn't actually looking at the, the thing, by the way. Uh, let's try to do this in rhythm, otherwise it'll sound completely terrible. A, B, Y, X. It's all around, and then B, Y, A. There we go. C, 
save it first, just in case this sets off like something I can't get back from, because I want to make sure I use the gem. The tabernacle is almost empty. There are none of the things that should be there, such as holy water and other ritualistic items. Only a circle of power lying on the lower shelf. Oh, so this is a bonus. It's going to increase my power, right? Which I haven't gotten in forever. They told me at like the beginning of the game this represents the amount of power your spells do, and then they just never gave me anything else. Or, like they never gave me any power ups until like six hours in or something. It's cool to finally get them. Five point circle of power. Each of the three point spells can be powered up by using the power rune. Three point Sp Wait. Does this require more runes to cast it? Like if I was to make a spell with this thing, would it require five runes? I think it would. Huh. Uh, how do I power up my current ones, though? Like... Uh, let's go to the, my, my spell list. Select so enchant. Assign. Select power level. Three points. I don't understand. How do I power them up? So I could do a five point spell. Huh. So like... What if I wanted to heal myself and make a more powerful version of that? Could I do... Maybe instead of, like, absorb self, maybe it's, like, absorb... Absorb self self? No. I don't understand. Oh, well. Okay, gem thing. I guess I do actually need to do the gem thing. Skeleton. Let's enchant this. the same statue that's in the mansion. The same one that even follows me. Look at it. Maybe this is the true boss of the game. Alright, is the rune known? No, in fact, I actually have a lot of unknown runes. Three. colors, they're fighting each other. Oh, 
Oh, that wasn't the one I thought it was. What was it? I don't know what I just cast. Oh, I just cast shield. I meant to cast this one. Damage field. Feel is so powerful. Yeah, so far all ranged weapons that I've used except for the shotgun are terrible. An effigy of a monk. Reclining on a sacrificial altar, a deep groove bisects its chest. The monk's face looks almost exactly like the custodian. The inscription reads, Only when thy friend is sacrificed, when his cries fill the air, will the great doors be opened thee. <laughs> Do I have to kill the custodian? Um, that's not very priestly. Where did I come in from? I think here. Yes. It's got an interesting symbol on the door. Hold on. I think I just discovered something. Oh my god, yeah! I just discovered it when... So this, uh, this kind of large sword is having trouble hitting enemies in hallways like that. I just realized you can actually decide which direction you do a strike in. Um... I don't think you can if you're not aiming. Yeah, if you're not aiming, it doesn't look like you can. Oops. Yeah, if you're not aiming, you definitely can't. But if you are aiming, like this, then your left stick won't move you. Like when you're not aiming, left stick just moves your character. But when you are aiming, the left stick doesn't actually move your character. And if you move the stick to the left and attack, you do a left swipe, move it to the right and attack, right swipe, and if you do up, it is an overhand. I actually haven't tried down. What's... what's down? Down is... I guess just like a wide swipe? Left, right, up, down. Yeah, that's actually super handy for small hallways. That's really cool. Nice little detail. As for the proof of the heresy within this dark cathedral, a table bears arcane documents. Diagrams and sigils pertaining to demonic craft are scattered across the recently used table. Yeah, there's nothing on the ground. Like before, where I needed to put those pots of water, or whatever that disgusting stuff was. The shelf appears to be recessed into the wall, not quite as flush as the others in the room, almost as if it could be if it could slide inward. Wish I could do that before. Tiny one! this.
by adding Pargan runes to a spell that can be powered up, intensifying its effects. Oh. So, oh, huh, that's interesting. So when I got the five power thing, it told me I can use that to power up three power. Or three rune things. Which is true, but that's not the only piece of the puzzle. I actually could not do anything with it. Just on its own. Unless there's there's probably more complex spells that actually just require five separate runes. But yeah, the simple power-up thing is not possible. So, let's let's try it then. So, new spell. Uh, do a five one. Uh, this is going to be heal, so I'll make it red since that seemed to work to heal myself. So, absorb self. And then just power, power. Cool. So is that considered a separate spell, or just... Oh no, it just gives you access to casting it through multiple tiers, I see. Okay, well let's assign this one. Yeah, so I want the 5.1. There we go, cool. I wonder if it uses more mana and heals more, or just heals more. I can't tell. Torn diary page. Probably the final piece of the puzzle that I need to... Because, like, I need to collect enough evidence to take it to the uh, custodian person. Hopefully that's enough. With a shudder, my heart turned to ice. I came to the brutal realization that the entire order were heretics, and that I was in incredible jeopardy. Who knows how long they had kept their dark secret, masquerading as custodians of the Hand of Jude when in fact they guarded a damnable relic, the essence of the unholy Zelototh, and used it to lure potential victims to their hideous sacrifice. I felt sick, and despite my faith I felt intense fear and hopelessness. I know that I must escape this place before they suspect my knowledge. I must warn the world and notify the real Inquisition of their presence. Knowing death is just round the corner and fearing every moment, I commit these words to paper. Augustine will find this book. I will remove certain pages and hide them so that all who may follow might discover the truth before it is too late. I think that's the game developers just hanging a lantern on the question of why are all these pages in, in pages all over the map in weird gamey places that require you to find jewels to get to them. Because if they were in one book, Augustine would have found them. A blasphemous shrine stands at the end of the room. Dedicated to an unholy god, Paul can sense its evil and finds it difficult to approach. Okay, well I think we need to make our way all the way back to the custodian, which is going to take a while, so I'll meet you there. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal. And it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Claiming that the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The hand of Jude never existed. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. What? I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have.
sacrificial knife. Well, I think I know what that's for. You okay, Paul? Strange. I know that Paul's just tired, but they're like clutching their chest and... I don't know, it looks like they're having a heart attack or something. It's disturbing. Anyway, that is the flimsiest, flimsiest excuse I could possibly imagine for giving me the sacrificial dagger, for even having the sacrificial dagger, to silence him. It was just placed upon their, their bed or whatever to silence them as like a message to say, don't talk or we'll kill you. These people obviously have no qualms about killing people. If they knew that this person knew too much, why would they not just murder them? Anyway, did you just like disappear? They did. So wait, they just give me a sacrificial dagger, and then they just like, what, teleport to the sacrifice room? And then I need to go sacrifice them? Is that... <laughs> is that what's happening? An ornate long-bladed knife used to sacrifice humans. For Paul to even pick it up is repulsive, for the sense of evil it emits is intense and unnerving. The souls this blade has taken live on within its metal. I guess... They're just at the sacrifice place. So I gotta run all the way back there. Okay, so are they here? I mean... I don't see them. Am I just... Do I just shove it in anyway? Um... I guess it was sort of like a voodoo doll or something? Like, whatever I did to it, did I do to the actual person? I don't know. The monk in the effigy has been sacrificed. A dagger protrudes from a deep groove within his chest. The echoes of his screams still reverberate in Paul's ears. Okay. So they gave me the dagger that they had placed upon... Really ...placed upon their bed, and then they just disappeared into the ether. And now I just killed them through, like, some sort of voodoo doll-like link. Okay. That happened. Paul's progress forward is blocked by a corrosive spell. Obviously, someone wants to keep intruders at bay, and this lethal magic is just the way to do it. Is it gonna, like, kill me if I touch it? Or just hurt me really bad? Do I need... To, I mean, I could just dispel it, right? Oh, you probably need a level 5 dispel to get rid of a level 5 magic barrier, which is what that appears to be, so... Yeah, it's probably just to make sure you've gotten to the point where... Wait. To make sure you've gotten to the point where you have that level 5 thing. So then that's not really a bonus thing, it's something you actually need to do, isn't it? Hmm. Well, now I feel less special. But just to confirm... So that's blue, so I should use a green dispel. Let me just try to use the normal dispel. It's green, yep. Yep, didn't work, so let's make a new one. Let's see, so what is it? Nethlek and Rigmore. That one. And then Nethlek. Right? Oh. It's one of these undiscovered ones? Okay, yeah, so apparently that bottom right one was the right one. I just picked it at random. Okay, let's assign that. Pick the good one, make it green. Dispel magic. There we go. Hard. 
sweet. You know what, while I'm at it, I should probably improve the enchant, shouldn't I? So what was the enchant? Unterbach and Mangormer. I guess I'll make this one green as well. Gormor. Project item, I guess. Power, power. Let's assign the better version. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian, Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul no doubt lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken. Watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse, feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he's alone. Alone against the darkness. Oh, this game is so cheesy. I love it. Clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive, you seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy? When he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you, masquerading as a member of the Inquisition, stand for. And that you stand for evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Ulyalf. Come, my children, feast on this morsel and let us return to our preparations. I'm not scared of those at all. Oh. Forgot they could do that. Nothing I can take here, right? Nope. This isn't really happening. Oh. I probably should have saved it. The special door. Are these traps? You notice how those little spots in the ground are like way, way, way sharper looking than everything else around them? Huh. Door decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Should Paul enter and put an end to the heresy? I mean, of course. 
I wonder if that's kind of just telling you, like, hint, hint, you should probably save. This is the place where we saw Pius talking to that huge creature, saying you must protect this thing. <gasps> and there it is. and greater guardian is to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. Ooh. Jesus. If I am to guard this place, I will do it as I see fit. Be gone. Leave me. And I will guard the artifact as you have instructed. found a note from Edward. My dearest Alex, I am glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. What? Your loving grandfather Edward. Is this a hallucination? Is that real? It's still in my inventory. 88 keys? Alright. <laughs> well, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm, I guess, gonna go look for the 88 keys. <laughs>